Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I'm coming at you with the Diamond Art Club sneak peek, and it's the Dakota. I am so excited to share it with you. It is absolutely stunning. We are gonna be opening this up on the Painter Dining Room table, so that let's head there now, and I'll show you what I got. See you there. Right, and we are back at the painter dining room table. What I have to show you today is from my absolute favorite artist, Dakota Dateweiler. It is Waterfall Sunset. It's a small thumbnail. You'll be able to see it a little bit better when I get the painting out. It is a square diamond painting, as you can see from the blue striping on the box and the blue emblem. Uh, as usual, a beautiful uh, holographic box branded with the Diamond Art Club logo on the back. You've got uh, all kinds of information on diamond painting, how it works, and your kit contents, as well as a QR code on the side to scan to unlock 10% off. Coupon codes are everywhere. Oh my gosh. I get these and I just cannot wait to get into them. I see them at the same time you do. I don't open them up prior to, unless I have a little bit of homework to do. And I do that on purpose because I want you to get my true reaction. So. This box is going on the floor. What you get immediately when you pull all of the items out of the box. First of all, you get a great uh, logbook sticker. It's got the title, Waterfall Sunset, Artist Dakota Dateweiler, uh, a thumbnail of the beautiful image. Oh my gosh, I love her art for so many reasons. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. The diamond shape is square. The dimensions are 88 by 70, so a big one, but not like ginormous or unmanageable. You get a toolkit. Some similarities and differences in this toolkit, but one thing that remains is everything that you need in order to diamond paint is included in your kit. Diamond Art Club just includes some sussies, um, and uh, like I said, there are some similarities and differences in the kit. What you get in every one of your toolkit, uh, your toolkits is um, an eco-friendly bag that's uh, reusable and recyclable. You get a bag of baggies for drill storage either before or after you diamond paint. You get, let's see, those are kind of different. Oh, my pen is rolling away. It's wanting to run away on me. You get a container of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax. There are two pads of this wax uh, in this container. There's plastic on the top and the bottom of this wax. Peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen and it is in a container to keep it from drying out. This is what you dip your pen into um, in order to uh, get wax in it in order to pick up your beautiful drills. All right, you also get a nice boat with a funnel and a removable stopper to keep your drills from spilling out as I'm spilling everything else. Don't spill your drills, but you can spill everything else. Kidding. You get a pen and a squishy. This is a difference. The pen and squishy color uh, will differ from kit to kit. Mine is a beautiful turquoise pen. You put the squishy on for diamond painting comfort. Uh, I'll see if I can get it on this time. I don't fight with it for too long. Okay, it's semi on and semi off. Okay, write this down. She kind of got it halfway on, all right? <laughs> you also, in every kit, do get two multi-placers with your diamond painting pen. A four and a seven placer are standard. Uh, your multi-placers are for placing more than one drill down at a time in places in this painting um, that we call color blocking. That means there's a whole lot of one color in one area and you can place more than one diamond down to make uh, some faster progress. So whatever you're comfortable with, you can put on the opposite end of the pen. All right, some differences. First of all, in, in square kits and square kits only, you get a pair of Diamond Art Club's branded uh, pointy stabby tweezers. Keep that sheath on uh, and do not poke your eyeball out. Um, you can use this for a variety of uh, diamond painting needs and for crafting. You also get a roll of washi tape. The pattern on your washi tape uh, will differ from kit to kit, so it's kind of a, a nice little surprise, and you do get a good bit of it. You can put this around the perimeter of your diamond painting to, uh, if the glue comes out a little bit beyond the pasting area, or you can use it to section off your canvas. Uh, diamond Art Club does now have patented um, sectioned paper, perforated paper that I'll show you, uh, but you can also use your washi tape with it. Um, also, you do get a cover minder. When I unroll this canvas, there is a plastic uh, sheet on the top of it to help keep, to protect the glue from gunk from getting on it. These cover minders, when you peel your plastic back, you put this beautiful cover minder on the top of your diamond painting. There's a second magnet underneath um, 
the uh, cover minder that you slide under your diamond painting. The magnets magnetize together to hold that plastic back so it's not flippy flopping around. And I got a beautiful glass pink flower. And that is your tool kit. All right, but we are ready for the piece de resistance. What we're all waiting for is to see this. All of your paintings do come in a branded Diamond Art Club dust bag, so you can store that. Um, it helps protect the canvas, it's very nice. And this is all, got a piece of my dust bag there. Now it's sticking to my fingers. All right, these canvases are beautiful. They are the Cadillac of canvases. As I always say about Diamond Art Club canvases, they are made out of a material called tarpaulin that helps the canvas to self-flatten. They're very buttery on the back. Scalloped and surged edge to prevent fraying. And I'm gonna roll this back because the material on the canvas that you adhere your drills to is poured glue. Like I said, it is a larger canvas, but it's not unmanageable. I don't think I'll have to manhandle it. Oh. As you all know, Dakota Dateweiler is my favorite, favorite artist. I wanna stop and take a minute to thank Diamond Art Club. Um, number one, for having the confidence in me to allow me to share these sneak peeks with you and sending this to me and allowing me to share my favorite artist with you. We are in the middle of Dakotathon, uh, our Dakotathon event, which celebrates the work of Dakota Dateweiler. So I'm always so happy to spotlight her and her absolutely gorgeous work. All right, I have rolled this canvas back to flatten it out. You do not have to roll it back on itself if you don't want to. The material on this canvas is poured glue, so you can roll it back and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. I'm gonna let this kind of hang out in my lap while I show you the other things. Rolled up in your canvas. Okay, I, okay, I was gonna say something else, but I am looking at these colors. Dakota Dateweiler loves blue. Obviously, a lot of her paintings have the prevalent color as blue in them, but these are different blues. They're different um, hues of blue, I mean, different types of blue than I'm used to, um, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I'm already seeing some ABs. All right. You also get an information pamphlet um, with a thank you from Angie, one of the co-founders of Diamond Art Club. Inside tips and tricks, what's included, QR codes to take you to a video to show you how to diamond paint and to the VIP Facebook group. Join that Facebook group after you've made a purchase from Diamond Art Club. Um, lots of good information there. Thank you, 10. Here's another coupon code. If you're a first time purchaser to Diamond Art Club, you can use my code painter15 to get 15% off your first purchase. Do not feel like you have to. I always say do it saves you the most money. And on the back, two QR codes to take you to the Diamond Art Club app where you can get 20% off your first purchase through the app, whether you are a new or existing customer. So good information in there. And here is our sticker sheet. Oh my gosh, this I'm just gonna share with you right now, the, one of the reasons why Dakota is one of my favorite artists, she's a beautiful person. Um, she, you know, I'm very proud to call her a dear friend. Um, she's a beautiful person inside and out, but her art, um, I would categorize it in the realism category. Um, she, does, uh, she does do some uh, fantasy in her art, but it's, all of it looks absolutely like you could jump into the picture and be a part of it. Another one of my favorite things that she does is her play on light. There is a lot of it in this painting. It's absolutely beautiful in addition to the waterfalls and the beautiful florals around it. But this is a sticker sheet. This entire thing is a sticker sheet. It's got your title, Waterfall Sunset, Artist Dakota Dateweiler, your start and end date, a beautiful larger image. Can they see it? Um, diamond shape is square dimensions 88 by 70 centimeter and the skew number of your canvas over here these are all individually cut stickers that you can put on your containers when you're kitting up or you can leave this uh, sheet just like it is uh, it's whatever you choose to like i always say there's no wrong way to diamond paint this sticker sheet tells us some things um, there are also schematics on either side of the canvas that i'll be showing you momentarily that tell you the same information but the information that this sticker sheet tells you the first column in pink tells you how many colors you're gonna have. That's how I know I have 53 colors. Center column are your symbols that you're gonna match these drills down with to put on your canvas. The third column are your DMC codes or DMC numbers. Any DMC code or number under the number 150 indicates an AB drill. I will show you what an AB is when we go through the drills. There are three ABs in this kit, 109, which looks to be a gray, 
140 at blue and 141. If you're gonna have any kind of play on light, you can bet you're gonna have 141 in your kit. That is a white AB that reflects all of the colors. It's a very popular one with DAC and it's gorgeous. Now, don't stop there. Go all the way down to the end of your color list. If there are any DMC codes with a letter in front of them, that indicates another type of specialty drill that Diamond Art Club includes in their kits to make your diamond painting experience even better and add more dimension to your diamond painting as a whole. You have got three numbers with the letter Z in front of them, which indicates three fairy dusts. So again, three AB drills and three fairy dusts are included in this kit. Uh, the first one is Z3363. That uh, looks to be a dark green. There is some greenery in here, so that'll be beautiful. Uh, Z3743, a purple, and Z3766, which is a beautiful bright blue. So that is your sticker sheet, and I will put that to the side. Um, the drills are uh, all nicely bagged together. I do pull them out to share with you and mess them up, but they are labeled with the title of the painting, Waterfall Sunset, but Sarah, Please zip your trap and show us the painting. Show it to us. Here it is in all of its splendor. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love this for so many reasons. Oh, again, I'm just, I'm so beyond thrilled uh, when I get to show a Dakota Dateweiler. Um, her images are spectacular her play on light the realism in her pieces and diamond art club renders her art like no other their renderings are amazing and spot on so you've got this beautiful sunlight coming through it's a sunset so the sun is um, setting so it's going down but you've got this light coming through these trees and i can already tell you there are ab's in there i already see them You've got, but you've got the light coming out and it's just, oh, it's just doing this painting so much justice. Then I love that there's a double waterfall in this piece. You've got the larger waterfalls in the background along with smaller water, waterfalls at the bottom. And then at, at framing the bottom of this piece are these beautiful flowers. I mean, it's just everything you could ever want. If you are a nature lover, um, sunset, sunrise lover. I, I mean, oh my gosh, this is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. I just saw that Diamond Art Club posted this and people are already losing their minds over this piece. And, um, and it's not too big, which I like. I mean, it's a larger painting to get all the detail, but it's not too, too, too big. So that is the image. I will be going over this image. We'll talk color blocking versus confetti, and I'll show you where the specialty drills go, but let's go over the drills. So I'm going to turn. I just don't want to stop staring at it. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to turn it over. I'll stare at it some more. <laughs> All right, let's get these drills out of this bag, and I will show you your color palette. Sorry for the crinkly. If you're a diamond painter, you're used to it by now. All right, and I do have my handy dandy scissors to cut out the specialty drills. So let's get started. Diamond Art Club's uh, drills are manufactured in-house. They do do them, um, and that is great for us because it does ensure quality control, and um, they continue to improve uh, their drills, um, adding facets, um, just, again, tweaking and tweaking to make sure that they uh, give us all the sparkle that we want. And, um, you know, it, it's, they just do a great job. All right, right off the bat, here is one of your specialty drills. This is a fairy dust drill as indicated by the Z in front of 3766. I'm gonna turn it over. It's really, really hard to see. Fairy dust drills are, like I always say, they're very shy, they don't show their faces. But on the tops of these drills, it looks like a, a fine mica powder or a misting of glitter. It is encased in the drill. Um, so it won't get all over your canvas. And um, to add even more subtle shine, that mica powder or glitter is the same color as the drill. So it's absolutely beautiful. So that's your first fairy dust. Let me get that cut so I can have it to refer to when I show you where these specialty drills go. All right, are we close enough so they can see? All right, 3842, 336, 413. Two bags of it, 645. We're getting, remember, we're gonna have some nature colors 
because um, we're outside. 141, ding, 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 ring your first AB bell. Kara, what is an AB drill? Hang on. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the tops of these drills that captures facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just makes them all together now, shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, just a little bit more. All right, that's 141, that's our first AB. And here we go, okay, I hope I don't have, this is, uh, it may just be a couple of loose drills. All right, let's keep going on the train. Uh, 38, 46, these blues are gonna kill me. 37, 27, a pink, 38, 48, two bags of it. 33, 71, two bags of it, three bags of it. <laughs> three bags of 33, 71, a brown. 3709, oh, excuse me, I can I can read numbers. 3799, woo, we are, well, we have four bags of it. So we have a lot, but not like crazy. And 310, one bag of it. For those of you new to the diamond painting game, 310 is black. Moving on, here we go, 3761, 3778, 754, 747, these beautiful, peaceful colors. And ding, 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 here is your second AB or Aurora Borealis drill. It's like the Aurora Borealis lights, the Northern Lights, um, that I, it's a lifelong goal to go see in person, so that's a beautiful blue. That's going over here, 939, 823, two bags, 3836, two bags, 646, two bags. Z, 3363, here is your next fairy dust drill. Again, that beautiful mica powder on the top. You might be able, yes, you can. I'm gonna get you really up close. You can see that mica powder a lot better in this particular drill. It's funny about um, fairy dust drills. You can see them better in some and not so much in others, um, especially on camera. So that's your next fairy dust. We've got 3364, 451, 3013, 109. Here's your next AB. It is a beautiful taupe color. I have seen this color before. I've not worked with it a whole lot, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's a nice neutral, but it's got all of that sparkle on the top and you can already see blues and purples in it. Gorgeous. All right, 38, 61 and 5, 17. All right, next train to Georgia. Let's mix it up a little bit and do the babies. All right, these are uh, bagged by weight. 951, which is a beautiful peach. Here is our next fairy dust. Oh my gosh, we got these specialty drills all over the place. Z, 3743, it is a beautiful dusty rose color. That's gorgeous. All right, 926, good. 3770, 347, 224, 779, 498. 3072, 898. These are just such pretty, peaceful, calm colors. 452, 3721, 160, 814, a cranberry, 793, 356, 3354, 614, 6014, excuse me, 839, and 3816. Now, this brings up a good point. 6014, 6014, uh, Diamond Art Club. Uh, realized that there were some colors that if they were going to render, do the best renderings possible, there were some colors that were not in the DAC, DAC, DMC, excuse me, color palette. So they created their own colors. So again, always improving, always making our diamond painting experience better. So if you get a drill bag that is um, numbered above 6,000, that is DAC's own coloring system. So that's great that they've included those colors. All right, okay, so I thought we only had one bag of 310. We got a couple more bags of 310, which is that black, 938 of brown, 647, 3860, 930, 803, and oh, two bags of 803 rounding out our drills. So those are the beautiful colors in this painting. I just, oh, I get to look at it again. I'm so excited. Tour of the canvas. Can they see the whole canvas? Pretty much, all right, tour of the canvas up at the top, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club, that is their branding. You have what I call schematics on either side, upper left and lower right of this canvas. 
That tells you the same thing that your sticker sheet um, tells you about re regarding the colors, the symbols, and the DMC codes. At the bottom, you have a thumbnail of the image. You have the title, Waterfall Sunset. You have the dimensions, 88 by 70, and the artist, Dakota Dateweiler. There is a copyright symbol in front of Dakota Dateweiler's name, which means Dakota Dateweiler is legally licensed through Diamond Art Club, as are all of their artists meaning Dakota Dateweiler has given permission uh, for her work to be used and is being compensated. And we do always want to do right by these incredibly talented artists that just brighten our lives a whole lot more. I'm telling you, um, my world is a whole lot more beautiful with uh, these pieces in them. Um, in the middle is Diamond Art Club social media information, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you tag them when you're working on these. They work very, very hard uh, to give us the best diamond painting experience possible, and they love to see your work on these. Also, in the bottom uh, right is a lifetime warranty. Anything goes wrong with this canvas or drills, Diamond Art Club will make it right. Uh, also, this does have the perforated paper. Not gonna go into it in a lot of detail as I have in a lot of other videos, but um, you can tear sections. Um, it is perforated, so you can do that easily. You can tear sections off. Um, if you don't want to access the perforations or, or, or uh, tear along the perforations, if you like using release paper or just like pulling back, the uh, cover paper, you can certainly do that. So you've got some options. So you don't have to access those perforations. These, this perforated paper though is patented to Diamond Art Club and it's just one other thing that they're doing to um, improve our diamond painting experience. So kudos to them for that. All right, let's get into these special drills. I don't even know that I'm gonna have to get up. I may, I may, I'm not saying I won't, but we'll see. All right, let's start with this particular AB Drill 109. It is a beautiful tote. I, I, I Write this down, I'm prepared. I do have my old lady glasses on so that I can see where these ABs and fairy dust drills go. So this AB is the symbol one. You're gonna get it in the rocks. Rocks here. Let's see, I may have to get up. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Um, Yep, I have to get up. I thought I wouldn't, but I am. That's okay. Where else? Not any up here, but some in here, here, and in these rocks down here. Um, don't have any that I see there. Now, are there any in the water? Um, there are some in the rocks where this smaller waterfall is coming over in the water and in these rocks. Um, in, yep, there's some in the trees in the background here. She's got some pine trees in the background and, and that particular AB is there. So that is where that 109, that beautiful tote goes. Your next AB is that beautiful blue and we have two bags of it. I'm so excited, 140. Um, so that is the symbol two. Okay, you've got some of it in this rock right here, the lighter blue. Of course, you're gonna have a lot of it in this water because again, water that's moving is, um, it sparkles. You're gonna have it a, a lot in these big waterfalls. Um, don't see any in these particular waterfalls, but in the water under here, a lot and a lot in these waterfalls. So that is going to be absolutely spectacular. Your third AB is that popular one, 141, it's that white. And I can tell you, I've already seen it. Um, the symbol is a white background with a black dot, which um, is pretty typical of this one. If it's not numbered, you have it in this sunset that's go going down with the light is shining through the trees. You've got it in here. Um, you've got a lot in the water. Anywhere there's white in the water is that white AB. Um, all of these, um, droplets of water splashing up on the rocks. All of that is that AB, all of this, the highlight of this rock up here, all of the white that you see is that particular AB. Oh, I'm so excited. Are there any in the trees? No, nope, there's just anywhere you see white highlighting these rocks in the water. Um, that's where you're gonna get it. Okay, so those are your three ABs. Now down to our three fairy dusts. All right, 51. 
number 51, which is the Z3363. It's this beautiful green. That's your first fairy dust. It is the symbol X, and I am assuming it is going to be, yep, you're gonna get it a lot in the greenery down here in these flowers sprinkled throughout. It's over here in the greenery, yep. So um, that's gonna really add some beautiful sparkle to these flowers. Are you gonna get any in the trees? I don't see any. So okay. it's really prevalent in the greenery surrounding and the florals surrounding um, these beautiful waterfalls. That's where that green's going. Your next fairy dust is that taupe, uh, Z3743. That is the symbol N. You got a little bit of it. Um, let's see where that goes. Symbol N, symbol N. This is why I have my old lady glasses on. Where is that gonna go? Is that in the rocks? Oh, it's in the water again. Okay, I always say this. I love that Diamond Art Club does this and does it often. You've got this white AB, but you have this fairy dust butted right up against it. That is gonna add depth and dimension to this water and really give it the look of the water moving. And that is happening throughout this water. So that's where that N is gonna go. Um, I'm looking in the rocks, just um, there's a little bit of it in these rocks over here. I don't see, nope, I don't see any more of it. So that is, that is the effect that this particular fairy dust is going to create. Um, is it's gonna create movement and depth in this water and there's a lot of it in the water and a little bit in the rocks over here. Your last fairy dust is an anchor symbol. I'm so excited, I've been able to really tell you what the symbols look like. Um, <laughs> sometimes I have to kind of uh, ad lib there. Um, this is Z3764. Five, I believe, or 66, sorry. It's this beautiful blue fairy dust. There's a good bit of it. It's the anchor symbol. Yep, it's again in this water. So in this water, you've got an A, you've got an AB and two fairy dust, which is going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, it's just sprinkled throughout the blues in this water. Again, um, looking, uh, we're looking for motion in this water because the water falls and the, the water will definitely be moving um, when the water from the waterfalls hit it. Um, there's a lot too in these waterfalls. So you're gonna get uh, fairy dust love and AB love in the waterfalls. So once again, the effect of these ABs and fairy dust together you're gonna get depth, but you're also going to get the look of water moving. Um, any anchors in the rocks? Let's see, there, there are anchors, again, in the waterfalls. So you're gonna get the same ABs and fairy dust in the waterfalls as you do in the water. Um, there's some anchors in these little waterfalls, okay? Um, I don't see, let me look in the sky. I have totally missed the sky on ABs, but um, it doesn't look to be, um, that doesn't mean you can't put them there if you want if you want to, okay? All right, so that's where that fairy dust is gonna go. It's prevalent in the waterfalls, both sets of waterfalls and the water surrounding it. So those are your specialty drills. Coming back around. All right, guys. When do these come out? When do these come out? I have to have it, I have to have it. <laughs> these are coming out tomorrow, Saturday at nine o'clock Pacific, 11 o'clock Central and 12 o'clock Eastern for Diamond and Ruby members. That's a tier of Diamond Art Club that uh, you get to by making a specific number of purchases. 30 minutes later, 9.30 Pacific, 11.30 Central and 12.30 Eastern uh, is when the release is for the general public. Um, if you are not a Diamond or Ruby member, have no fear. Diamond Art Club does hold some stock back for general release, so everyone um, will have an opportunity for these beautiful releases. And there are some gorgeous releases this week, but I have to say, this is my favorite. I love it. Uh, thank you, Diamond Art Club. Thank you, Dakota Dateweiler, for providing us with such beautiful, beautiful artwork. I'm just, I'm so thrilled that I got the opportunity to share this with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. Happy shopping tomorrow, and I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.